All right, you guys, welcome to The Flash After Show, where I talk about each week's episode of The Flash. Today we're talking about Season 1, Episode 13, entitled The Nuclear Man. And uh, we'll jump right into the positives here. Um, at the beginning of the episode, we see Barry is getting ready for a date. And it's this is great because it happens to also be the busiest night for trouble in Central City. Um, he's getting ready to go on a date with uh, Len Linda Park who was the girl's name in last week's episode that I forgot her name on the after show, but it's Linda Park, and, uh, you know, he's got to go save a guy from jumping, and he's, you know, Barry's also, you know, got to help this, uh, <laughs> this bank, like, this. Uh, it's not really a bank robbery, it's more of just a robbery, um, but that whole thing was pretty funny, um, and then Joe calls Cisco to help investigate Nora's Nora Allen's murder at their house. They're going to go look at the old house and they're going to search around for to try to find new evidence. And I like that he brought Cisco on and Cisco's like, "Well, shouldn't we get Caitlin and Wells?" And he's like, "No, no, no. The less people that know, the better because that's going to get back to Barry and I we just can't have him freaking out right now." Um until we have something concrete to tell him. Uh, and I like that Joe trusted Cisco enough for that and plus seeing those two together uh, was actually pretty funny in some spots, and they worked together as a team very nicely. Um, the explanation of how Ronnie and Dr. Stein got merged together as one person, because we've heard them talk about in last week's episode that Ronnie and Dr. Stein are two people merged into one, and I'm like, how the fuck? Alright, whatever, but this episode shows the explanation like the origin story of Firestorm, if you will, and um, it, it makes sense. Uh, it's a little out there, but coming from a television show, it, it does make sense. So uh, I'm glad they found a way for it to somehow make sense like that. Uh, Ronnie was, you know, doing his thing in uh, the machine that he was in, where the particle of stuff particle accelerator went off, Dr. Stein was doing his own thing that was similar to it, he was holding it, and it felt like, well, since they were holding, like, pretty much the same thing, uh, it would kind of cause, I don't, it, it's a little out there, you'd have to watch the episode, uh, to kind of get it, and if you're watching this, hopefully you saw the episode, um, Firestorm Flying, uh, I don't remember if we ever seen Firestorm actually, like, fly. Uh, I, th I think we have, but th this was pretty cool just to see him flying again. Uh, and then when Barry gets there, he says, uh, whatever you do, please don't flame on. I'm like, ah, it's a Human Torch reference. That's cool. Um, and then, of course, you got Firestorm versus the Flash, round one, as I like to call it, because he always fights the bad guys, like, twice in, um, in each episode. But the, the small little quick fight that they have in the beginning was pretty cool. Um, Barry and Joe, or not Barry and Joe, Joe and Cisco uh, start to find um, some hard evidence at that house. And, you know, uh, they, they find, I forget what it was on the mirror, but Cisco was able to make th uh, 3D images of what the mirror caught. And, you know, uh, they were able to look at it and... Then they seen the wallpaper, and they pushed on the wallpaper, and there was blood on the walls, and they're like, okay, we can get some DNA on this. And there's hard evidence there, so I'm glad they kind of went back to the house. That was kind of a smart idea. Ooh, excuse me. Um, and then Caitlin, uh, there's a moment where Caitlin brings uh, Ronnie, a.k.a. or also Stein, and um, brings him to Stein's wife, and... She's kind of, you can tell that she has multiple reasons for, for wanting to help out Firestorm. Um, of course she's doing it to try to get Ronnie back to her, but you can tell that she genuinely wants to help this woman get her husband back as well. And I like that she wasn't being selfish like that, you know. She w she had multiple reasons for doing it. Um, so that, that was that was nice. Uh, Joe uh, kind of wants uh, to get Wells' DNA and he wants to see if that matches up with the blood sample that they found at the house. Cisco automatically defends, and it's like, no, this can't be Wells. Um, I'm not going to do it, but, you know, it's with that kind of, kind of thing. And then, not long after that, uh, Cisco walks into Star Labs, 
right when um, Wells is kind of saying, "Look, we have to kill Ronnie before it gets before he, be, he gets nuclear," and that's when Cisco starts to have his suspicion. So now Cisco's kind of having his doubts too, and I like that because if Wells, you know, has anything to do with this. Um, which I'm sure he know. I I'm pretty sure he knows something. I don't know if he was there or if he had anything, uh, you know, to do with the murder. But he definitely knows. And you know, Cisco's starting to have his doubts. Um, and then of course, Firestorm versus Flash round two. That whole fight was awesome. I don't need to explain that. Uh, really, it, it was just cool. That was pretty awesome. Now let's get into the negatives. Uh, the negatives. I only have two. The woman who lives in Barry's old house. Uh, she she lives there now, and Joe and Cisco come in. Uh, she's kind of there in the background, and she seems like she wants to have sex with both of them. So she's a slut. I didn't like her at all. Uh, that kind of every, every every time she came on screen, I'm like, she's hot. But uh, you know, her character is kind of making me cringe here a little bit. I'm like, that's kind of weird and slutty. Anyway, um, and then Iris uh, trying to tell Linda to back off, basically. And, uh, because, you know, Barry has to go do his thing when he's on his, like, second date with Linda. And he has to rush out. And Linda and Iris are kind of talking. And Iris kind of says, like, well, he was hung up on someone. So maybe Barry just needs time. Uh... And I'm like, whoa, hold the fuck on, Iris. You know, I used to like you. I still kind of like you. But the things you... Your choices that you are making as of late with the last couple episodes have not made me too happy. Um, you need to kind of get out of the way. You had your chance. You, Bar you knew Barry wanted you. You still didn't leave Eddie. Okay, fine, whatever. It's your life. Whatever. But don't ruin... What the guy is trying to do. The guy's trying to move on. And you're just trying to fuck that up for him. I, I don't like that. Um, I still have no problem with Candace Patton, who plays Iris. Uh, I really don't have a problem with the character. It's just some of the decisions that she's making. Kind of makes me a little bit upset. Um, so next week, they're going to bring in uh, the time travel aspect. Who, which has been kind of uh, hinted at. Uh, throughout the show so far, but it looks like next week they're finally going to be doing time travel. Like, they're, they're going to travel through time. Uh, pretty excited for that. Uh, so, yeah, guys, what did you think of this week's episode? Uh, episode 13, Season 1 of The Flash, entitled The Nuclear Man. Did you guys see it? Let me know what you thought about it down below in the comment section. And, yeah. Well, see you later.